Good morning, Sagittarius's. How are you cutie pies doing this week? Happy St. Patrick's Day to all that recognize it. I um, I, a little longer than a year ago, it was last January, February, I spent 16 days in Ireland. Um, I loved it. I just wanted to get away. I've never been there. I took 10 days to plan it, horribly I might add. Rented a car, learned to drive on the other side of the road, and went all around the island. It was it was absolutely fantastic. I love traveling by myself. I really do. But, and more importantly, another green holiday today is happy, happy stimulus day to all of those that got paid by the government. You get a little bit of piece of your money back kind of day. So, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. If you are Sagittarius, you know Sagittarius. If you resonate as a Sagittarius, or if you just want to identify today as a Sagittarius, I'll take you. Welcome. Pull up a stool and tell me your story, Sagittarius. I want to know what's going on. I want to know. I've been sitting here thinking of you guys in the dark, shuffling, getting into your energy. I know, it sounds creepy, doesn't it? Sounds like a, something for a Lifetime movie. But... It is what it is. It is what it is. And I uh, I just want to see what's going on with you guys. Present energy for the Sagittarians. Let's do this. Let's do it. What is it? Well, it's Ten of Swords, Jesus. Sorry, I used his name in vain. But it had to be sent. Ten of Swords? Really? First card out? Do I need to pull a challenging card on a challenging card? What is this? Whatever it is, Sagittarius, this guy can't have one more sword in his back. There's no more room. So you know what that means? It's over. Situation done. Complete. What's challenging the Ten of Swords? What is challenging the Ten of Swords for Sagittarius? Well, it's the Five of Swords reverse. Yeah. You see, that's that's the thing. You turn your back on an energy like that, and they're gonna they're they're gonna stick ten swords in you. Five of Swords reverse. That is yeah. Not good. Dealing with a liar. Dealing with a manipulator. Untrustworthy energy. What is the reason for this reading? What's holding it all up? Why are we here today, kids? Magician reverse. Virgo Gemini. Magician reverse. First major arcana out showing themselves. This, again, manipulative. Magician reverse is highly manipulative. If this is you, this could just talk about... Whatever you went through, it, it shook your confidence and, you know, blah, 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 you know, hard to move forward. And we will clarify to get more, you know, more into that. But if this is who you're dealing with, manipulative. They pulled the illusions, didn't they? Had you uh, looking one way, way why they were probably picking your pockets, quite literally. Recent past over here for the, for the Sagittarians. What is it? What is it? Well, that's you guys, Queen of Swords. This is what you had to get into to cut the bullshit. That is you guys. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords had to come out. She is all about fairness, but you don't want to cross her. She's got a very sharp sword and she knows how to use it. What is on Sagittarius's mind right now? What is it? Oh, Six of Cups. I love that such sweet energy, Sagittarius. You know, first hit I'm getting on that card is just you guys just want to go to a better place. Whatever somebody did to you, it made you feel, oh, it just made you feel so icky that you want to get into the, you just want to go be around people you can trust. You know, you just want to like drown in that energy for a while. Good thoughts of the past, trying to maybe uh, rekindling old relationships or being around friendships, you know, people who support you, family, loved ones. What is the near future for the Sagittarians? What is the near future for you guys? Well, the Hermit Reverse. Uh, Gemini just had this. Hermit Reverse, yeah. You learned it. You went within, took some time out, and you 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 had to uh, gain some knowledge on this situation. You could have even uh, holed up in a wall, being the Page of Swords, doing some research on this person. It's it's almost feels like like when somebody scams you, you know, for financial. Or, you know, like you think they're a friend and they borrow money and they don't pay it back. So, I mean, it's, it's in, even with the six of cups here, it could have been like somebody looked you up and you, you know, you, you put too, way too much trust in a very manipulative energy and not that it's your fault. They just know what they're doing. These, these scammers and players know what they're doing. What is on, or how do you guys see yourself right now? How do Sagittarians see themselves? 
well like that you <laughs> i like this i mean the queen of pentacles reverse talks about unorganized a little bit messy you they're in a there that's definitely could be you guys right now whatever you went through you it made you feel like you're questioning you know like am i good enough or this just talks about needing to take care of yourself. Now you're in an energy where you need to focus on you, focus on your money, focus on if you have kids, focus on what matters. That is where your investment's going to be. You're going to focus on within though. You're you need to fo you need to take care of yourself. But um if this is who you were dealing with, the Queen of Pentacles yeah, I, I'm not even going to go there because until I clarify, but right now I really don't, I feel like that's you guys. I do. I don't want to get confused or, or confuse you more importantly. I don't feel like that is somebody else. It could be when we clarify, it could change, but I'm just feeling like you guys needing to take care of yourselves right now. What is the energy coming towards you? You don't see coming, and this could even be people you're not aware of watching you. Well, it's the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you could have, you definitely could have um, a water sign coming into your life here. Um, again, this could even be what the energy you're moving into. Um, more emotionally balanced, highly intuitive. I mean, if you're here watching me, you're watching, you know, you watch tarot and you're getting more spiritual and, and within. But the energy coming towards you definitely could be new love. It definitely could be with a water sign. And if this is, this is going to be a very, very loving energy. The Queen of Cups is super loving, super um, empathic, and just healing. You know, she just, she's a healer. I mean, that's really what that card is. It's healing energy. That's what's coming towards you, guys. It's just good. Whatever it is, if it's a person or energy, it's good. And you guys, and it looks like whoever I'm reading for, you guys, they need it. You need it. So what is in your emotions right now, Sagittarius? What is in your emotions? Well, Seven of Swords reverse. You're, you're, you want to avoid energies like this. I mean, this is, yeah, you got the Five of Swords reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse now. Let's get it. Yeah, I'll clarify that. I was thinking I was clarifying already. I, I was ready to throw more cards right away because I want to know what that is. But I'm getting ahead of myself. See, I have no control. I'm just like, let's clarify that right now. But the Seven of Swords reverse, yeah. This is you avoiding. Avoiding more situations like this. You're like, spirit, listen, I learned my lesson. It was tough. I see things. But now I want to move forward. And you know what? You don't have to send anything like this my way again. What is the outcome for Sagittarius? What is the outcome for you guys? Oh, I love that. Four of Swords, rest and rejuvenation and some peace of mind. Yeah, you guys are going to go within. You Take some time. Again, I think with the Six of Cups, you're just going to be with those that matter and what matters. That's where your focus is going to be, on you. And that's exactly what Tarot is saying, is you need to spend some time on yourselves. You need to do whatever it is to make yourselves happy to make, you know, to spend money on your family, on your kids, on yourself, Maybe, you know, get your hair done. If you're a man or a woman, go buy some clothes, do whatever it takes, go out to lunch with a friend, just laugh. Most importantly, laugh, find the laughter again. And again, on your mind with the Six of Cups, that that is find that laughter, that giddiness, that childlike energy. Try to find what you, you know, what, you want to get back into that energy, and that will really go a long way in healing. Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords reverse for Sagittarius. Let's clarify it. Well, it's the Emperor. <sighs> let's get one more on that. The Emperor. That is a very strict energy. And that could be you guys moving forward. That's what Aries energy. Yeah. Emperor, you could have been dealing with a very unemotional person. A very unemotional person that... You know, because the Knight of Wands then popped out, reverse. And this is an in and out. The Knight of Wands speaks of in and out energy that plays around, fools around, probably has many others on the side. But, and the Emperor is, I think, you guys. This this is what you had to go into to, to put this to a halt, to end this. Do you, you know, you, you, you're now becoming the Emperor of your own lives to put an end to this bullshit. Yeah. Moving forward, I think you guys won't ever... 
deal with this kind of stuff again. I think he, you know, you're going to get really wise to it. This kind of player energy. What is the magician reverse? The reason for the reading? Why is the magician reversed here? Why is it the reason for the reading? Well, it's the page of pentacles reverse. Yep. It's clear. It's so clear. This person made you feel like there was some type of future, some type of if this is business, this is this is somebody, you know, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, you get everybody gets those emails like, what do you, you know, what is it the prince of, you know, I can't even think, you know, where it's just somebody where you think you, they made you think that you can invest in them emotionally or financially. And then they, it was just an illusion. They, they, they took your money, took your time, took your love and split and they, they have no regrets. This is like very narcissistic, very, oh, it's just icky energy. These kind of people have no conscience. They really don't. They really, really don't. Yeah. Oh, and then I got the Eight of Cups reversed on that too. So some of you are just still stuck here a, a bit. And maybe you're stuck financially because um, they took from you. But just energetically, it's just like you're kind of like shock. Like what the hell? What the hell, guys? Queen of Swords in the recent past. That's what you had to get into. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Well, I like that. Nine of Pentacles. Talking. This is Junior Empress mode. Queen of Swords. Cut the bullshit because it's just like, no, 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 no. This is preservation. Nine of Pentacles. You guys probably look really good. Some of you probably look really good financially. Maybe you're very independent. Have a good job. You can take care of your own home, take care of yourselves, take care of, you know, it's, and you had to get into the queen of swords because maybe you kind of were catching on what was going on here. And this is, yeah, you guys protecting your foundation and what is yours. What six of cups on Sagittarius mind? Why is six of cups on Sagittarius is mine? Well, it's the seven of wands reverse. This card, I swear for two days, has hit every single reading. Okay, let me get one more on that. Seven of wands reverse. That's defensive energy. Let's get one more on the seven of wands reverse. Yeah, and the two of swords. The two of swords reverse. You, you guys, this person, okay, with the six of cups, this could have definitely been somebody from your past. This could have been somebody that came from your past that maybe looked you up on Facebook or on Twitter and, you know, you thought, you I don't know, you, you thought they were a good friend or, or they could have turned out to be a good relationship or whatever. But let's just talk about this real quick. The Seven of Wands reverse and the Two of Swords reverse. This is somebody who can't make... Seven of Wands reverse is very... Um, with these cards, reminds me, it's uh, defensive energy. They're very paranoid. When you you think they're solid, you really do. You probably thought they were like an emperor, or, you know. They had all they had it going on, but in reality, they always think somebody's out to get them, you know. And 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 but in reality, they're out to get other people. So, yeah, they're paranoid that somebody's out to get them, but they're so sneaky with that five of swords energy and the seven of swords. It's because they're they're thinking everybody's like them, so they're just yeah. Everybody's out to get them, out to get their money. So they're going to they're gonna get you before you get them. Every, everybody knows people like that. We've all come across people like that. Unfortunately, there's way too many people like that. So the Hermit Reversed in the near future. What is the Hermit Reversed doing here? What is the Hermit Reversed? Oh, yeah, this card keeps coming out too. In this deck, there's two special cards in this deck and they have no name and no explanation and I call it like a lover's card. I know tarot has a lover's and that talks about choice, but this is really a, like about relationship to me and it's about a breakup. This is what you learn. It's just, you can't go back. Once you see things, the hermit goes within and he takes some time within and studies what happened and when he comes out, he's got this new perspective and this new knowledge moving forward, he's going to apply it to his future. You can't go back. That's what I'm getting strongly with this card. It's forever broken. Maybe your trust, and for a while, this person may have even broke your trust in relationships, you know, for, for a while. It's just, it's just a broken, it's such a broken foundation that you, 
you just, yeah, you can't go back to it. No matter what they say or what they do, what they promise, it's a, you see them so clearly for who they are. And yeah, and I got the three of swords. So this was a lot of pain for whoever I'm reading for. You guys went through some pain and probably just, just your, your trust was destroyed. They just really played it. And you really thought they were summoning or not, especially with that magician reverse card. That was, that's highly manipulative. Very, I'm, I'm, I won't be surprised if the devil pops out. So how you see yourselves right now is the queen of pentacles reversed. Sagittarians need to take care of themselves right now. That's what that's about. Yes. And two of pentacles. Time to get your mental balance, mental focus back, maybe even balancing your money, focusing on work and savings. And, but I'm getting a lot of mental you guys just are, you're just needing some, that time away to go within and just get that mental balance back. And to do that, try to be around people that you you know you can trust. They have a history that, that you can trust. If it's your kids, your parents, your siblings, your friends. Queen of Cups coming towards you. What is that? That is really nice. Healing energy could be new love. What is this Queen of Cups doing here for Sagittarius? Mm. Ace of Wands. Some of you, it's definitely new love. It is definitely new love. Someone you find highly attractive. Highly attractive and wants to heal that archer heart of yours. Wow. And look at that at the bottom. Look at that, the Ace of Cups. I'm taking it. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands on the Queen of Cups. That is what's hidden here. There is somebody, I, I'm not a time, I, I don't believe in like psychic timing because only God has the timing. You know, nobody, nobody, no human really can hit the timing. They can may get lucky, but it's kind of arrogant to even throw timing on this. But whatever it takes to do this healing, it could even be because at the top you have the four swords. When you get some time away from this, yeah, somebody, somebody comes in and wants to heal you, Sagittarius. They want to heal that wounded heart of yours. They want to heal that three of swords because it is right next to it. Look at that. The ace of wands and the ace of cups. And you know what I'm getting really strongly with this with these two cards? When, when this situation comes into your energetic, you know, your energetic field and catches your attention, you are so going to forget this. You're going to look back and like, why was I messing with that clown? Why was I, what was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? Because this person's going to blow that away. I love that. I love that. And I will say this. When I do tarot, I, I, whatever I see, I say. I am not your typical like tarot love reader where I see love in every corner. It takes a lot for me to see love. I actually see money. I probably am more of a, a business money reader. But for, when I do see love, I can't ignore it because it's so strong. This is definitely love, guys. This is definitely love coming. And it's someone that you are going to be so attracted to, male or female. You're going to be so attracted to it. And because they have such a good heart and they're so, they're just, they're going to be so good for you, Sagittarius. I can't, I, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope wh whoever this happens to, I hope you guys put it in the comments because I'd like to hear about it. Seven of Swords reverses in your emotions. And maybe the Seven of Swords reverses you avoiding when this energy comes after what you went through. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know. Looks too good to be true. That could be what's going on here because it's right above the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords reverse. It's just a, you're going to be very, very cautious. Very cautious from now on. Yeah, an Ace of Pentacles reverse. This, the universe is trying to hand you a gift. It says you went through these lessons, you learned, you healed, here's a gift. But it's gonna, this is on pause. That's what I feel. You know it's there, but you're gonna be like, eh, you're kind of pushing it away. You're gonna be pushing that new beginning away because you're gonna feel like they're gonna, it's just gonna be another one of those. Another one of those. Can I get one more on that? What's the Seven of Swords reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You're gonna like, you're gonna put a halt to this. And you very well could push this away. Oh, that's painful. But the Queen of Cups, something tells me they're not going to give up very easily. They're not. If it's real, they're not going to give up easily. They're not. Might even become a Queen of Swords. Got another one on that. 
That could be you or them. I really can't tell. I'm not going to lie to you and say, yep, that's you or that's them. It could be either. It could be them being like, listen, Sagittarius, you know, you can't ignore me. You can't ignore me. Or it could be you just really pushing this away. Could go either way on that one. What is the Four of Swords as the outcome? What is the Four of Swords as the outcome here? Tell me about the Four of Swords and Sagittarius as the outcome. Well, that's you. You're thinking of all your options. You know the options are there, but you are happy with... It's like if there was a bed here, this is almost reminding me of dreams too. You're like dreaming of all the options or all the where you're going to go from here. If it's money or business or just, you know, looking at your future. But it's it, what it's saying is you definitely have options. You, you know you have options. You know you do. Can I get another card on that? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups on the Four of Swords. It's just, it's funny because he's laying on a bed. He's laying on a bed and then the guy's looking up. It just reminds me of dreamlike. It really does. Dreaming. You're dreaming of your future. And you're happy to do so because nobody's trying to put a sword in you. Okay, Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords. Seven, yeah, Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords. Tell me about it. Well, the tower. Yeah, this is... A tower could be... Okay, let me get one more on that. Because the tower you can't prevent. You really can't prevent it. And I'm almost thinking it's saying this was unpreventable. What went down, yeah, and the hermit. This had you go within to be a better version of yourself. I know. You probably didn't want to hear that. You, you're like, I know that already. But to me, the tower on the Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords is this was meant to be this was meant to come into your life and when things it was just meant to it was meant to destroy an old version of yourself old ideologies of yourself old story you told yourself and unfortunately you have to sometimes go through a lot of shit to be a better version of yourself and when this happened you then go into hermit mode and you try to take the lessons that you learned from this moving forward and apply it to future situations but you have to be so careful not to feel, and look at the bottom of the deck, the five of wands. You have to be so careful not to think everybody's out to get you. When, when something like this happens, and there will be, for, for a time, you probably will be on guard. You'll be very, very wary, you know, of new energies coming in. But I think it's just asking you to not judge future situations by old, old lessons, you know. So... Ah, oh, these readings this week are heavy. This was a, this made it, this was pretty heavy. I wish it, I really wish it was just all about new love. But the positive here, what we're gonna focus on is this because isn't that beautiful? The Queen of Cups energy coming towards you is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. That's a lot of love and healing. If if this isn't a new person, that's just that passionate. Maybe you're finding a new passion for you know, something new, something creative, just that you're just excited about. But I'm really, really feeling like this is new love, guys. I really am. So that's what I have for you this week. I hope you have a, a fantastic week and I will see you next week. Take care.